states, the state pension system is experiencing a deficit of over $5 billion. Now a task force is looking into what can be done so state employees don't have to change their retirement plans and to make sure the state can afford to pay for them. I hope we can figure this out. Fixing the problem with the state pension funds, that's billions of dollars in the hole. My reason for staying with the state is because I have that choice to be able to retire at the time that they guaranteed me. The first report from the Pension Benefits Design and Funding Task Force is out, and a virtual discussion Thursday led by state leaders and task force members. We want people to feel informed and heard. Giving state employees the chance to talk about their retirement concerns. At the beginning of the year, a proposal wanted to make changes that would affect workers more than five years from retirement, asking them to pay more each week and work longer to make up for the state's underfunded pension system. With some of the pieces that are being brought forward, that takes the choice away because we have to work more years in order to um, um, essentially have the benefit that um, that we were what we were promised uh, when we signed up to do this work. Much of this initial report is backtracking, figuring out how the state got here. This whole discussion has caused a great deal of anxiety. Commissioner Mike Pichak, a member of the task force, saying there is a lot more work to be done. I do think we can accomplish um, something that um, everyone can agree to in December. Before anything is brought to the legislature. What we've heard so far is loud and clear that working longer, people are not um, very much in favor of that. While a clear direction hasn't been established, the task force has agreed on a few points. We want to make sure that we're having as little impact as possible on those state uh, employees and teachers and staff that earn the least. And figuring out a way to have no impact on those already retired and little to no impact on those close to retiring. I worked 40 years because I couldn't afford to retire at 30 years. And without my pension, without this pension, I would still be working. Making sure Vermonters today and decades from now can retire after their years of service. The task force is meeting on Monday and they want to hear from you. They're hoping public comment on the initial report and overall situation will help them as they work towards some sort of solution. Now we do have a link to that full report and details about Monday's meeting on our website, mynbc5.com. In the newsroom, Carolyn Sistran, NBC5 News.